uh, combined forces. Uh, he got a bunch of his guys get killed off, so he sort of decided to charge in and take out these guns for the rest of the people. Um, at least I assume that's what he was doing. Uh, in the process, they pulled back their archers over here because they needed to like reform their whole uh, battle line, and they still have a. Lot. You can see they they have a lot of troops, and um, as this whole melee is going on, Huma decides it's time to move in and sort of force their hand. And as you can see, this guy in gold didn't want to get engaged in a big melee, so he's pulling all his dudes back. They're sending a bunch of their swords to the front. In fact, they sent almost all of their sword reserves to the front to counter this army. Which, um, and, you know, Perseus wasn't moving in. We, we delayed his reaction so that, um, you know, they would overcommit, get too many guys engaged here to sort of ensure that they won this melee. Uh, in the process, you can see I pull all of my cavalry out of the woods and start sending them in because the best time to strike is right when armies are in formation and on the move. Um, as you can see, they're still, like, in the process of reforming when Huma is, um, forming up. They're trying to make an effective line of battle. And right now, Huma is clearly outnumbered, and this would be a slaughter if this charge was to go, you know, just as it was without any outside influence. Luckily, I had my uh, cavalry in here sort of sneaking around, and they finally didn't notice him, maybe because he was in the woods, I don't know what. But he managed to finally sneak around those damn spears that had been sent to the front line. I was waiting for that this whole time. You know, the battle finally clashes over here. Um, we sent Perseus to send his dudes up. The battle line finally clashes over here. You've got a bunch of samurai charging into um, lone swords down here. And as the cavalry hit here and everything's distracted, my cavalry come up and slam his bodyguard, which is perfect. I mean, like, the, the one, the, the, the message that pops up every time the bodyguard gets in trouble freaks this dude out. And as you can see, as his, he pulls his bodyguard out, his archers and everyone up here don't move at all. And uh, Perseus' charge doesn't go unnoticed, but my cavalry charge does and hits their uh, uh, archers. Anyways. As, I might, as you might have expected from Huma's, like, sort of, not suicide, but sort of like a, a faint charge down here, they did they they uh, did commit enough troops, but I'd say they probably overcommitted because they sent all their swordsmen, all their reserve swordsmen that were meant to sort of plug up the hole up here, uh, down there, meaning that all they had left with their Nagdanada monks, and it's not like, you know, Nagdanada monks are bad, but considering how, how heavily they were outnumbered, and how the fact that the Nagdanada monks were supposed to be guarding the flanks, um, they sent their general's bodyguard in to delay the uh, sort of Yari cavalry charge that was going to happen. I mean, this is the black and gold guy, so it didn't matter if his general gets killed off as much because he didn't have as many troops. And as Huma's troops are all falling apart down here, Perseus is pushing them back on the hill, and I finally get to bring my goddamn uh, Yari in because they no longer have this wall of spears blocking me off. And um, the first thing I do is go in and smash those uh, Naginatas in the back. And the second thing is to go after their general, because he was uh, the, the third general, the final general. Um, and in the process, hit their archers up. And Huma's army is broken down, but all their swordsmen are no longer on the hill anymore. They've been pushed back over, in fact, to around where Huma was. So they have to charge back up and try and retake it. And at this point, we've got the terrain advantage. And I decide, take my cavalry, go after their general, mess around with uh, their dudes down here, and sort of, like, gum up the works of their formations, while Huma reforms his lines and gets his dude coming up. We're still outnumbered here, but a lot of their guys are injured, a lot of their, their generals are out of commission, you can see how ragged their flags are. So despite the fact that they have a lot of dudes, um, Huma's troops are relatively fresh from only having to beat up those archers and the monks that I had flanked and hit them with. Um, my cavalry are still alive, and like I said, I sent them down to try and like you know mess things up as much as possible. I hit all the guys belonging to the black and gold dude because I had just killed his general off, and I wanted to make sure that you know his guys broke and ran because that's sort of like the core of their infantry down here. Um, and the perfect like synchronization that they had had with the infantry, spears, and archers sort of fell apart here as like all of them tried to do different things at once. The green guy charged in too early. The gold guy tried to deal with the cavalry by sending dudes down there, which is just a total disastrous mistake. Huma, having the height advantage, charged downhill and uh, managed to, to basically not only tie them up, but sort of get that devastating charge off, get the rally off, synchronize everything, while I'm just running around, like I said, gumming up the works, running through their dudes, getting the, the flank on their guys, and finally, the third general, the one who had fallen back to organize the resistance, died, and you have the battle. I thought this was an epic battle. I'll go over and show you the lines of um, fighting. You had the skirmishing fight, the initial clash right here, um, a bunch of cavalry skirmishes going off in the woods and things like that. Um, and like Huma's battle to sort of distract them and hold their attention. You've got uh, Perseus and them having like little exchange over here, little cavalry dust-offs. Finally, pushing up, cutting through his archers, 
pushing back up where they meet the spears who are trying to hold them from rolling down the back side of the hill like a boulder. Um, you have everyone getting flanked by cavalry and the cavalry breaking everyone. Then you have Huma doing exactly what we were supposed to, what he was going to do, running down the side of the hill, everyone charging back up and having this climactic showdown right in the middle here. And it was just an epic battle. They had a, you know, well-defended frontiers and it was just a lot a lot of fun to play and uh uh, to be honest, it was pretty fun to watch this replay. It's a lot of uh, details you miss in the in the exchange, and like the the ability to coordinate between all three people is um, what really can make or break these battles. Because you know, leaving three or four swordsmen behind here might have taken a little longer to beat Huma, but they could have held off Perseus in time for those dudes that had pushed everyone back to come all the way back up here, meet the battle on high ground instead of at a height disadvantage, and who knows what could have happened. It was just uh, it was a lot of fun.